Debbie's going to show us now how to make these beautiful earrings, gorgeous chandelier style earrings. I love the movement on these, Debbie. They're just Thank you. gorgeous. Thank you. Beautiful use of um, the little green beads as well. Now, how do we make these? It looks like there's lots of parts to these, lots of bits. Okay, for this you need an earring finding. Mm -hmm. You need a large hold bead. Okay. You need two um, eye pins or head pins. Mm -hmm. And you need two featherweight head pins. And you need six beads. So what are the featherweight head pins? Are they... They're really, really fine okay. to go through beads that have got a very, very tiny hole. Mm -hmm. And we're going to be doing some, some wrapping on these, so Perfect. that's why you need some, some really fine okay. pins. Okay, right. Right, so here we go. You have to take one of the head pins that has the little ball on the end, and I'm going to cut that off straight away. So now you've just got a piece of wire. Use your flat nose pliers and place that in the centre of your pin and pull your wire down like so. All right. Then on one end, just even it up. If they're not even in the at the end, just even those up using your your cutters. Using your round nose pliers, mm -hmm. pop that on one side, curve it, and then pop that in again to make a loop. Now before you do that on the other end, feed on your large hold right, bead, okay. otherwise you won't be able to get it on. And that fits in the centre there. Yeah, lovely. And then take your round nose pliers again, place on the end, just curve that back, put your pliers back in, and then make your loop. That is now part of your design. You then need your second pin with a little ball on the end, and that's going to be fed through, again, your large bead. Right. Pull, so, the, so it's nice and neat. So the larger bead acts as almost like a hinge for it the does. design. Yeah, it does, oh, actually. Oh, brilliant. OK. So the little ball of the head pin just sticks on one side. I'm going to pull that right over the top in a curve. And I'm going to leave good centimetre, a centimetre and a half there, mm -hmm. from the side of your large bead right around the corner. Hold on to the excess so it doesn't fly off and snip that. Then I'm going to place my round nose pliers right on the end of the wire again. Oops. Just curve it, pop the pliers back in and make a loop. And that is the top of your earring. Okay, so now, let's have a look at this on the on, on the finished design. This is this this is the part that we've just literally made here. That's okay. right. Right. Okay. I'm going to put those down now. I'm going to start working on the beads. Mm -hmm. So you take your featherweight head pin. Oh, right. And place your your beads of choice onto the end there. Take your round nose pliers and put them right at the top of your bead and bend the head pin over and then pull it across the front of your bead. Let the wire do the wrapping. Don't try and move your pliers, just keep it very, very still. Okay. Wrap it around two or three times and then straighten up that loop. And you've got a lovely, neat little mm. wrapped bead. I'm going to cut off the excess using my cutters Sometimes you can have a little scratchy little bit sticking up. So use your flat nose pliers, just press that in and get rid of that little tail. I can see why you've used the featherweight head pins because it does give you that. It does. I'll do it once more just so you can pick that up. So do exactly the same. Yeah. Put your pliers at the top of your bead, mm -hmm. bend your wire over the top, pull it underneath the pliers to one side and let the wire wrap around Perfect. like so yeah take out of your pliers and that will be slightly distorted so just straighten that up cut off the excess i know these are really tiny for you to see but cut off the excess wire like that and now i'm going to use my flat nose pliers just to press in that little tail that's sticking mm -hmm. out okay great so i'm going to put that down on my tile again now I'm going to take the 
the design that I made earlier and open up one of the loops like a door and take three of the little drops, one, two, three on one side, take my pliers and close and repeat on the opposite side so the other three is one, whoops, they're so tiny, one, two. Lovely feature though. Thank you. Three. Mm. Like that. There we go. Gorgeous. And then I take my earring finding. This is slightly different from one we've used before. This is just with a little ball on the end. Mm. And that you can just feed oh, wow. your design on. Open up the curve at the end. Oh, close gosh, it. Gorgeous. And there's your little oh, earring. So elegant. So elegant. And then you just repeat that method Absolutely. for the second earring. Isn't that gorgeous? Absolutely beautiful. Thank you so much, Debbie. That's Pleasure. brilliant.